Number 44. What are the first three overtones of a bassoon that has a fundamental frequency of 90 hertz? It is open at both ends. All right. So open at both ends. So check, by the way, check out number uh, 42 and 43. All right. I went through a, a brief discussion about the gen, uh, general uh, ideas I'm going to be talking about in this. All right. So I'm going to run through it. So uh, when we're talking about a tube that's open at both ends, right, we have to use this particular formula that the frequency of the nth harmonic will be equal to the nth harmonic multiplied by the velocity of sound divided by two times the length of the tube. And the harmonics here can be the first, the second, the third, the fourth, the fifth, dot, 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 dot. Whenever they tell us the fundamental frequency, the fundamental frequency always correlates with the first harmonic. Okay, so FF, fundamental frequency is the first harmonic, and then every harmonic after that is considered the overtone. So the first overtone here would be the second harmonic. So this is first overtone. The second overtone would be the third harmonic here. And the fourth overtone, excuse me, the third, let me just make sure I'm saying that right. The third harmonic would be the second overtone, and the fourth harmonic would be the third overtone. Okay, so now what are we trying to find? What are the first three overtones? Okay, so that means I got to find basically the frequency of the second harmonic, the third harmonic, and the fourth harmonic. Now, specifically in number 43, I we developed this formula, so I'm just going to use it, that the frequency of the nth harmonic will be equal to the uh, harmonic value multiplied by the fundamental frequency. Okay, we can call that f sub 1, or I can call that f sub f. They're literally the same thing. So since they told me the fundamental frequency, that's 90 hertz, all I got to do now is basically just plug in my n values. So the frequency of the second harmonic, which will be the first overtone, will be... 2, right, multiplied then by the fundamental frequency of 90. So this, sim this simply becomes 180 hertz. That's the frequency of the first overtone, a.k.a. second harmonic. The frequency then of the second overtone would be equivalent to the third harmonic. That's going to be 3 times 90 now, and that's going to be 270 hertz. Okay. And then last but not least, the third overtone, which is the fourth harmonic, will be equal to 4 times 90. And this will now be 360 hertz. And it's literally that straightforward. All right, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Appreciate it. Please remember to help us out and subscribe. And we look forward to helping you with more problems. Take care.